guys so it's like my first day back in atlanta um for christmas break 2019 it's cold and i don't like it i don't miss the cold at all as you can see i have this puffer jacket on you can kind of see like in the background it's like really brown and dead looking outside here look see it's like brown and dead looking um so basically i'm just making like a first day vlog back and also in this video i will be telling you the things I learned during the first year of my vet school experience. Now, for one, I'm about to go to a doctor's appointment because I start working next week and um, I really don't wanna have to take off of work. But this is my first day back driving on, what is this, the left the left side of the road? I don't even know. Um, what I told my dad, cause he was nervous, is that I realized where you're driving steering wheel is, you should always be in the center. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm in my neighborhood right now. And so, oop, that's the windshield wiper. Everything's reversed again. Um, so now, you know, just I gotta feel my way because I've been driving on the other side of the road for four months and surprisingly, it just seems so weird. Like I told my dad he was turning on the wrong side of the road. So, you know, we're just gonna chill, we're just gonna chill. But um, yeah, I had every intention to start this video when I first got home, but I was excited to see my dad. You know, I had to drop all my stuff off. I was super tired. I got my rooster booster slushy. I already spoiled that, so I'm not putting that in here. I was so happy to get that. Um, and so yeah, so I'm back in Atlanta. Like I said, I have a doctor's appointment. So that's where I'm going. But anyways, as the title of this video says, I'm going to be telling you some things that I learned during my first year of vet school. And these are not to be taken seriously. This is like kind of like truthful, but also like very lighthearted as all I say in like all my videos. Like, please don't take me seriously because I joke about things and I like to laugh. So yeah, anyways, gonna have somebody to talk to on my way to my doctor's appointment to all of you guys. So don't mind me not looking at y'all because I'm obviously being a good driver and watching the road. Um, so one thing, oh, I didn't know how to adjust my mirrors from where my tall dad has been driving his car. Let's stop before we turn out the driveway. So, I've forgotten how to work my car. Oh, here it is. Um, for one thing that I have learned, and which I feel like is the biggest thing, is you cannot learn everything in med school. Or in med school, oh my God, the windshield wiper. Or in med school for that matter. You know, you feel me like Maggie, my girlfriend, she is in med school. And I give all of you guys who are in med school kudos because see what I've learned is that vet school, we have to learn a lot of species. And that makes things hard because I took pharmacy for the first time this semester and you have to learn different drugs and different drugs you can use with different animals. Whereas in humans, you know everything's for a person. I mean, granted, you might have like kidney problems or something, but animals have those same problems but then there's species differences. But the difference with humans, I feel like they go way more in depth with pathways and enzymes and one amino acid deficiency. Whereas, yeah, you can look at that in an animal, but it's not as intense. Um, I feel like, you know, we learn embryo, but it's a bigger thing for humans. You know, you want to know if your baby's going to come out normal. And so both of them, I feel like are equally hard. You know, you feel me? But so, yeah, one thing I have learned is that you cannot learn everything. It is impossible. And they tell you this is going to come back. This is going to come back. And, you know, I'm only in my first year. I still have a long ways to go. I still have clinicals. I haven't started surgery and I haven't even got into my career. But even vets I have worked under have told me you are not gonna remember everything. And I totally understand why. My best friend Kayla started in the term before me this semester. And sometimes she asks me questions and I can't answer it. And I feel like an idiot seeing that she's only one semester behind me. You know, I should be able to answer these questions about things I just learned last semester. But I can't because some stuff you remember for the class and then it goes. Now, don't get me wrong. I I do remember some things especially very unimportant things like I learned that pigs you know male pigs have this diverticulum at the top of their penis um, and it like it stinks that's the reason why male pigs stink that's actually important because it goes to public health you know that actually has to be removed from a carcass at meat inspection before it can like the meat can be sold I'm trying to think of another useless fact right now um, but just you know I, I feel like you know the useless stuff kick like stays in your head because it's interesting or strange but I mean you know I feel like as you go on into the world and I even see this you know seeing that I've, I've worked under several veterinarians in different fields you you know you learn the stuff that you're gonna know we have to learn every single important drug out there for pharmacy and I've, I know some of them and the ones I know are the ones we have stocked in the clinic and the other ones that I've never heard of obviously we don't have stocked in the clinic because every vet is not gonna use every drug so that's one thing. 
for any of you in undergrad or pursuing a career or education in something, it is impossible to learn everything. But you know, you have to just learn how to pick out the important things and then you test well. Another thing that I have learned in vet school is that vet school, don't mind my tassels. This is my high school and undergrad tassels. So hopefully one day I can put my vet school tassel when I graduate up here. Um, but another thing that I have learned is that, in my opinion, vet school is easier than undergrad. I struggle in undergrad. I studied, struggled in Okim especially. Like, oh my gosh, I was Okim's like B word. Like, um, I struggled in genetics. I struggled in biochem. All of that, like, really kicked my butt but now that I have started vet school everything is interesting like you know this is like I've always wanted to be a vet I've always been interested in animals and so everything just comes like you know it's interesting because this is what you're supposed to be passionate about obviously if you're spending like almost like two hundred thousand dollars on a you know degree right now um and so I feel like because I'm interested in it it becomes easier and I feel like some people feel discouraged when they don't do well in undergrad or your undergrad advisors tell you if you can't do this you'll never be successful in vet or med school or law school or any type of professional degree but I feel like once you're in the field of what you're interested in it becomes a lot easier in fact I realized already after just my first semester my GPA is better than it ever was an undergrad and I still don't think it's like there yet but like even from just term one to term two at the end of this semester finishing my first year my GPA moved up like 0.2 points so I find that good and I mean I get it some people struggle you know there are people in my class who struggle there are people in my class who've had to repeat classes and I'm not dissing it to anything I'm not saying that vet school should be easy and everybody should just you know apply by like everything should just fly by and you know fl like fit blah pass with flying colors but I feel like you know if this is really what you want to do and you're passionate it becomes easier that's just my opinion and that's what I have found another thing that I have learned in vet school is that people say people say that you know everybody once you're in like you know professional school everybody's on the same level you know there's no more competition that's one thing they you know try to drill into our heads and you know most schools will try to sell you on because even SGU did this they try to tell you that oh you know there's no that that competition where everybody you know is just trying to weed people out like an undergrad where you're just trying to weed people out because you know you want the best spot in the class you know you have to compete with these people to get in there is still competition in vet school there are still going to be people who have certain resources that they don't share there's going to be people who do well and know things and just aren't willing to help you and i'm not trying to say that vet students or any you know professional level student is malicious because mind you being at SGU and going to the vet and med seeing it my girlfriend's in the med program so i i feel like i get half of a med degree i should be getting half of an md when i graduate she should be giving half of a dvm when she graduates i don't think we're malicious people but i don't feel like that just stops per se if that makes sense a lot of people make it seems like it stops and i mean just being realistic there's competition everywhere in the world so i mean that's never gonna stop but i feel like people try to paint the picture that like oh once you're in vet school, all that competition just goes away. Everybody wants you to succeed. You're all on the same page. And especially here at SGU, for us to get into our clinicals, it's based on our GPA. So we have to, if you want, if you know you want to go to a school, if they only have three spots, they pick the top three people with the top GPAs that chose that school as their first choice. So I feel like the competition doesn't start um, stop. And I mean, I do feel like as a class, at least my class per se, is very connected, you know, I would say. But I do still feel like there are those rifts. There's the drama. Oh, that is another thing. Let, let's let's go to that vet school or professional school does not stop drama drama just continues through life and i feel like as long as like you put yourself in the situation to be in it it's gonna be there and unfortunately luckily not in vet school in term one but in my foundations year which i still associate with my vet school experience drama was just there and i see drama in other situations and you know it just doesn't stop but I feel like, you know, you should be able to decipher that. But, you know, a lot of, again, again people try to say, oh, we're adults. You know, we're, we're out in the real world now. There shouldn't be drama and everybody's mature. Everybody's not mature. Some people are always going to be childish, you know. And, you know, also, side note, as I am driving, since this is also a vlog, I feel terrified driving next to these 18 wheelers on the freeway right now. Like, usually when I'm back in at home in Atlanta and I've got comfortable driving, I'm in the left lane. I am, like, cruising. I'm going. And right now, I, I have my little butt in the right lane going slow. And I feel like I'm driving more to the left because I've been driving on, like, you know, closer to that side. And I feel like these trucks are so big and close to me right now. But, you know, anyways, we're going. I've been driving since I was, like, what, 15? 
22 now, I should be okay. But it's just an adjustment. And people told me this was going to be an adjustment coming back. Like, once you stay for four months driving one place and then only come back for a month to drive somewhere else. Anyways, besides the point. Another thing I just realized is that, you know, they say, like, you know, you never really know what you want to do in vet school and have an open mind. And I believe in that because there are some people in my class who tell me they don't know what they want to do. Like, they think they know, but they're not sure. But I feel like if your heart knows where you want to be, like, you should, I wouldn't just say close off all other options. But I wouldn't say, like, completely ignore and just brush off the fact that it's like, oh, I should have an open mind. Because I feel like if you start in the beginning, you know, getting experience and getting stuff done, you know, that starts to stick with you for your future plans. For example, I know that I want to be a practice owner someday. I want to own and manage my own practice one day. And hopefully, I want it to be all cats. So guess what? In vet school, when we learn stuff, especially with carnivores, you go very in specifics with dogs. And then a lot of times, if a cat has a difference from a dog, then they point out that thing. But just realistically, dog medicine is bigger than cat medicine. I mean, even my managers and the vets I've worked under, they tell me the money is where dogs are. But I work at an all-cat clinic, and I love it with my whole heart. Like, cats. Cats are my passion. I am an old cat lady, if you have not realized from any of my other videos. I just, I take notes in the margins when I can remember a certain thing that has maybe happened at my clinic. You know, I write that cat's name and I take those things in because I'm like, you know, yes, I have to work on the dogs. I have to work on the cows and the horses and, you know, all this stuff while I'm in vet school. But realistically, if I know in the future that's what I want to do, that's the stuff I want to stick in my head. And I feel like, you know, I've, I've learned that, like, you know, teachers and advisors are going to tell you how you should study and how you should do this and how you should do that but i feel like at the end of the day like sometimes you got to sit down and just think about you and do what works for you and so that's what i've learned too is that like yeah you can take advice but sometimes everything that somebody suggests isn't really the best thing for you and so that is something i think you should also consider especially if you're an undergrad or even you know considering a professional degree or even in a career you know entrepreneurs out here everybody thinks they can own their own business i'm not saying they can't like it's become a bigger thing at least here in the states um i don't really know you know i had this idea to do this video like a few months ago and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna do that as soon as i get home and like now i can't even think of any of my reasons but i feel like those have been my biggest ones is like just yeah those have been my biggest things that i feel like i've learned like this semester and everything and i'm like so glad to come home for this break and i'm pretty sure my knowledge is just going to continue to grow every semester but this is just like especially coming from a first year student you know myth versus truth you know you're scared your first year event school and everything and i mean at least for me i would say i got acclimated to sgu and the vet school in the foundations program so i kind of knew what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting the course load it is a lot and i'm not gonna say it's easy like i did previously in this video it's a lot but i don't think it's hard and even maggie says in the med school she doesn't necessarily think it's hard so much that it's a lot wow this windshield wiper keeps scaring me when i try to put my blinkers on it's not necessarily hard you just have to have the discipline and you know the structure to study correctly and i mean i get it you know it's not easy for everyone as i've said before but i feel like you know mostly it's just finding what works for you and like sometimes i feel like people look at how other people study and take notes and they're like wow i want to do that but you got to find what works for you that's all i'm saying so um yeah those are my tips those are the things that i feel like stuck out to me more than anything this first year and then it's just so rewarding to like now be learning especially if you come like from text it's like a tech background like i did i feel like it's so rewarding to now be able to understand why doctors make the decisions they do and why they choose this and do that and don't do this and i mean granted i'm telling you i'm only in my first year so i cannot say what i will learn in my second third and fourth years but just from this first year alone i feel like i've gained so much knowledge and understanding i took radiology on small and large animals just normal and now I understand like why my doctor is so particular about when we're taking a VD view which is basically where the animal lies flat on its back and you're trying to get a x-ray of its abdomen or chest why it has to be straight or you know why this has to be this and we did physiology one and two and I understand you know why cats with kidney disorders have high blood pressure now and you know it's just so many things that now make sense and I'm just like wow you know it just it makes sense you know and it, it, it's it's so rewarding to understand why it comes together and you know to see what i can take back and now i haven't started working yet for this um winter break but i'm so excited to even go back and now as we start doing treatments the medicines that i've learned this semester alone to be able to like apply them and then i also take pharmacology going into my next year next semester as well but this, it's just so rewarding and i feel like that's something that in your first year you start to realize that like wow 
you're out here really doing the thing and this is what you're in for it so yep um that's about all i have for this i know i said it was gonna be a vlog so i mean you know there's not much really else going on in my day i am extremely tired because like i said i had the layover last night and you know with the hotel situation getting out of customs i didn't go to sleep till like almost midnight or one and then my flight out was like six so then i woke right back up at like four so i'm tired i just really want to go to sleep i'm probably gonna go get me some wings later so maybe after my like doctor's appointment i'll show you like one of my favorite wing places yeah that's probably what i do so this, this video is not over yet so i won't i won't say my closing yet so you know just just wait just wait we'll, we'll come back we'll come back gotten out of the doctor's office and i drove to the place where i told you that i was going to eat that i'm so excited to eat so wings are like my favorite food like i love tacos and i love pasta but i think if i had to like eat one thing for the rest of my life it would be wings because i feel like you can just like always eat it no matter what you can make them in so many ways my favorite is honey mild honey hot maybe i think i mentioned this on like my get to know me video but i love like lemon pepper you know parmesan garlic ranch like all of them the whole nine yards like you can't go wrong with wings i just really don't like really spicy things so anyways i'm at this place called ruchida so um ruchida is very similar to this place called american deli that i mentioned before um but they this is only in atlanta and so they sell wings um philly cheesesteak fry combos fried fish fried fries all that stuff their philly cheesesteaks are really good but i'm coming for the wings and i'm actually going to dinner with my family later and i've kind of waited late to eat it's like 3 30 now and we're going to eat around seven but i don't care i'm gonna just get like a six pizza combo uh the best the best like the best i'm about to go in um yeah i love this place this is like my favorite okay so i just got home now and i'm about to walk in <sighs> my book bag is my purse because i don't like wearing purses doctor i'm struggling guys just trying to hold y'all and everything else um yeah so this is my house at least my mom's house um because when i'm home i switch back and forth between my mom and my dad's house um yeah and everything so i'm about to walk in and show y'all my food and i'll end this so i just got in this is my dog odin hey odin Hey, buddy. Okay, let's go outside. It's like Christmassy and stuff. Uh, it's time for Odin to go outside. And this is the games he plays. This means he doesn't want to go out, but he really should be going out. He just wants attention. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go outside. Come on. Stop playing games. Let's go. No. Come on, Odin. Okay, if you don't got to go, you better not be begging me for my food. Okay, you hear me? Cause he likes to beg. Okay, so moment we've all been waiting for. My wings, so happy. I have so many wings. Fries and wings. I only got a six piece. Some of the fries kind of shifted. But yeah, and as you can see, like half my sauce fell out. But yeah, tons of wings and fries. This is just a six piece and I love me some ranch. I'm sorry, oh, I sounded so country just saying that. And I should have celery somewhere. Yep, I got celery. So yep, I'm out to eat. Odin, oh wow, he's actually not begging. He's been sucking on his foot lately. Um, but anyways, I'm about to end this here so that I can eat me food. Um, yeah, I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten all day because I feel like it's because I've been like super tired. But um, yeah, I've been requested to do a mukbang. I'm not doing the mukbang in this video, but hopefully I'll be doing it this semester. Not semester. Wow, I've been stuck in school. This break. Um, anyways, be sure to like and subscribe if you already don't. Um, I have a if any of you are actually future vet students that are watching this because I like the, the title, you should, you know, check out some of my videos about SGU. You know, that might be your next home. 
or even in med school if for some reason you came across this and if you're just one of my returning subscribers i just like to follow me like thanks for watching all that jazz and until next time